Hey everyone, Sinfarm here and welcome back to Mars the Mission for episode 3 of this series where we're taking on the challenge that was set by Farmer Bob in the map description. So the previous episode we managed to get liquid fertilizer onto our two grass fields, our two fields of oats and also our two fields of sunflowers. So they are now fully fertilized, ready for their first harvest and first cut for the grass. Uh, we also managed to get the final six fields spread with lime so all 15 fields now have lime spread on them uh, we also got three of those fields planted with cotton which we'll then sell when that's ready and been harvested that'll give us a bit of extra income from those fields and we also then partially got two fields as sown with barley we did run out of seed so we didn't quite finish those fields off but we've got two fields with a decent amount of barley growing in them which we'll then use for chicken feed so we can start getting some chickens and get the egg production underway from those which will then sell the eggs and get us a little bit more income and also then the egg, uh, the chickens can then start reproducing and fill up the two chicken sheds to meet the requirements for the amount of chickens we need for that part of the challenge uh, to, so today's plan will be to get our two grass fields cut we're going to do one for hay bales one for silage bales the silage bales will probably sell once they're fermented which will be in a couple of months time just so we can get some extra money from those as well and we don't really have any need for the silage just yet and i'm not planning on getting cows for a, a, a while yet as they're a lot more expensive and require a little bit more work and feed uh, to keep those going so i'd rather get other things going first before we prioritize on those so the hay will keep which allow us to get some sheep so we can start getting the sheep up and running uh, they can start reproducing to fill up their sheep pens as well and also we get some wool production which we can then take to the spinnery so we can get some fabric production so we're making use of that production building as we already have it and then the fabric will be sold then for a bit of extra money so we can hopefully get some uh, bigger equipment to help work our fields a bit more efficiently and also buy some more saplings so we can start actually getting some trees planted because we do need to get 10,000 of them planted that's something I'd like to start doing pretty soon but it will be just probably a few pallets here and there until we've got a lot more money to buy a lot more pallets in one go so yeah the first job for today is to get our grass fields cut so we'll get started with that Okay, so that is the first field all cut. We'll get a worker to mow the second field while we grab the fent tractor with the tedder and we'll get the first field tedded for hay. So that is the tedding all done. So we've got a nice field of hay there. 
I'll get a worker to start raking up this field and then we'll follow along with the baler to start baling up the hay and then once this field's done we'll switch the worker over to rake up the grass and then we'll bale that up as well and then we can get the grass bales wrapped and that will be that our main job for getting these two fields done today will be then finished after that we've got more fields we can get crops in so i'm thinking of putting some soybeans into uh, three of our fields and also getting one field of canola planted as well i'm not 100 percent convinced about doing canola because it does take quite a long time to grow as do soybeans but thinking for the first time we'll just get some of those planted and then see and i'm trying to come up with a plan as to which are going to be the best six crops to meet the 800,000 litres of each of those going forward as we are on a, a pretty like limited time scale with a 20 year target and although we're playing with out seasonal cycles uh, the crops still take the same amount of time to grow as they would uh, the only bonus thing is we can get multiple harvests in one year period for some of the crops like sorghum is very fast growing as is oats so we can get two three harvest per year out of those but crops like canola wheat barley are uh, like 10 11 months to grow so we're not only going to get one harvest of those fields so they're probably not the best ones to go for to try and meet the quota so we're probably looking at other crops but for the first harvest i want to try and get a few different things in and then we can go from there and see how much we get off each field for each crop and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to leave these fields as 15 individual smaller fields. And that way, once I've done a harvest of each crop on each area, I know exactly how much to expect from one harvest on one area of field. Uh, we can then come up with a plan of how many fields we need of each crop type uh, to meet the 800,000 litres, which I'll be a bit later towards. But obviously, it is something we're going to have to think about working on soon because we don't want to run out of time. And yeah, and fail this challenge after we've out. Uh, but then we'll have put in quite a lot of work towards that. So yeah, a lot of planning is going to be in this first year, our first couple of years, just to make sure we're on the right track and we're doing things the uh, efficiently in the best way we can. Some of these fields up, we may potentially join together. Uh, we don't currently have a plow, so that's not an option. So that would be something we would need to buy in the future, and it's something we'll probably need to get anyway if we do root crops or corn they require plowing after those anyway so that is definitely something that's on our list to get um, but it's not quite a priority just for yet so yeah we'll get the baling done and then we can start getting the silage bales or the grass bales wrapped up so they can start fermenting uh, we also need to get the greenhouses topped up with water as they've run out now and stopped production i do think the water reclamation point though does charge for water so we'll probably just put one trailer load in i'm not quite sure how much the water costs and we are down to our last 5,332. So yeah, plenty to do. So let's keep at it.
Okay, so that is all the grass bales wrapped. We got 80 bales in total off the two fields. So I, I estimate around about 30 hay bales and around about 50 grass bales. Um, as grass is slightly less capacity, so there's going to be slightly more than those. But that's only a rough estimate, as I didn't actually count it how many we had of each one. Um, but the next job will be to finish taking over from the worker to finish off the canola. And then we'll get on with planting soybeans into three of the other fields. Okay, so we've just run out of seed and we've got one tiny little strip left to do for the soybeans so we'll go and refill the seed drill get that finished off and then the next job will be to spray liquid fertilizer onto our two fields of barley and the three fields of cotton that we sown last time so they can get their second application of fertilizer and be fully fertilized for the first harvest we do of those
Okay, so that is the three cotton fields sprayed with liquid fertilizer. Also the two partial fields of barley and one of our grass fields. So they're all now fully fertilized, ready for harvest and for the grass cut. I'll get the other grass field done once I've moved the hay bales out the way. So we're not spraying liquid fertilizer over those. So before we do finish up for today, as we have three pallets of saplings and the tree planter already, we'll take the JCB up to the top level and we'll get those 60 saplings planted for our first 60 uh, trees to be planted of the 10,000. So it'll be still a long way to go, but we'll have at least made a start on that. Okay, so that is the first 60 saplings of 10,000 that we need to plant done. Uh, obviously, there's a long way to go with that, but that'll all... where we'll finish it for this month farm for today. So next time we'll be probably harvesting our first fields. So the oats should be ready. So we'll be doing that. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing. We've got more Farm Simulator 22 content coming up uh, with this series. Also, a new series that we're starting very soon as well to replace Dark Forest. So look out for that. And yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, I really appreciate that. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch. And I'll see you all in the next one. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.